In Port Elizabeth in the Eastern Cape, the 77-year-old theatre Doyen died last week after a long illness. The local icon was accorded a special official provincial funeral. He was buried at the Zwide Cemetery. Also in attendance was Arts and Culture Minister Natim Tetwa, alongside representatives of different political parties. Minister Mtetwa says the late veteran actor contributed greatly to the cultural wealth of the world. Trona starred in two famous plays, namely Sizwe Banzi is Dead and The Island, winning Tony Awards for Best Actor in both. In addition to his stage work, Trona appeared in several films, including Wild Geese. For Tata, Winston Zola and Jona was truly grounded in this soil. But from this center, he spoke to the world. He was not content with arts, with the arts which he loved so much. And for him, it wasn't just entertainment, though entertainment is also an important part of our lives. He was a humanist who believed that in transmitting human values through art, one could further humanize the world. He recognized the powerful ability of the arts to raise consciousness, expand our imaginative possibilities, redream, and transform the world. His acting was so powerful that to act itself was to represent a vision of transformation. He was a storyteller, a trailblazer, a playwright, an actor who rose from this very township in Brighton to take Broadway by storm and beam in the bright lights of Hollywood, taking pride of place on the stages of the world. He was not occupied by self-gratification, but all through his life, he was preoccupied with building others and teaching new generations. Indeed, he served others. Well, family members also share their fond memories that they had of the late playwright and actor. In terms of uh, humility, sure. Yo, yo, what a father. Actually, I think I would like to say, what a daddy. Because fathers are those people that give birth to their children and they don't even know where they are. But a daddy is somebody who gives you love, who gives you care. But that, that would dress us up. But we are proud to say that. When people talk about violence to kids, we were loved. And our father, our uncle, you know, we were very fortunate to have him. He respected us. He understood that no means no. And would be comfortable with that we had no issues across the family. Today, each one of us in this room has memories of Putzola and will never, that will never leave us. We will always have those cherished memories of Mzola. And even more so, he has left us with a rich legacy. A legacy that a just and a moral life devoted to the upliftment of human experience is worthwhile. The remains of NC